Good morning guys, how we doing? It is the 5th of January 2021 and we're in lockdown. <laughs> For those of you who don't know yet, we are in lockdown. Have been as since 8 o'clock last night. Apparently it's all coming into law on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. But basically everyone's been told stay home. Do, do the things, no kids going to school, which is, they shouldn't have been bloody going to school anyway, it's stupid, you know. Um, just because kids don't get it as often, doesn't mean that the effects that it has on kids isn't just as bad, if not worse, in a lot of cases, it's actually been worse on the kids. So, um, anywho... That is what it is. But because of that, I've been looking around. I, I tend to spend a couple of hours in the morning poodling around on the internet and seeing what's what and who's where and, and what's going on and all that kind of stuff and finding new things to have a look at. And one of the things I wanted to have a look at was a Cuban mop. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Cuban mop is, it's basically one broomstick that has a piece of another broomstick attached to the bottom of that broomstick in a T-shape and you wrap a cloth around it and mop your floor. I kind of like the idea of that because it means that someone like me who doesn't have a lot of oomph behind them when they're trying to do things like mop the floor doesn't have to have a lot of oomph behind them because the wood will actually do it for them whereas with a string mop, an old fashioned string mop that we use here if you don't have that oomph behind you, you're only going to get very little done so I went looking for one and I went looking in all the usual places and everywhere I looked I came across the same thing this item's not in stock or it's not available in your country. And I'm like, but these are companies I've used before. What's the big deal? So I found out what the big deal is and it is to do with the Brexit deal. So a lot of firms from around the world have decided to end deliveries to the UK rather than register with the country for VAT after the new regulations have been put in. Which we see, yeah, it's basically, it's not received any scrutiny from Parliament because they didn't give them time. It was like, here it is, sign it, sign off on it, or fuck off, basically. Um, so yeah, uh, it's basically, it's gonna cause a major, there's a lot of companies are basically backed out of um, exporting to the UK. Um, so about three of the clothing companies that I, I look at on a regular basis, they have actually taken the UK off their, um, off their, um, deliveries. Uh, Amazon, we used to be able to get Amazon in the US as well. Amazon in the US we can't get, but we can still get Amazon in the UK because obviously they're based in Slough and that's, you know, it is what it is, right? So, yeah, but we can't get them to send over here for some reason. Don't know what that's about. Um, there's been some more artisan type businesses, which is what I prefer to go to um, when I can because their products tend to last longer for the money that I spend. Um, they're refusing to send to the UK now. They've literally taken the UK off their deliveries as well. It's very sad and it's going to be kind of cause problems and it just means that I'm going to have to get hold of friends in those countries and say, can you please order this for me? Here's the money. Can you send it? <laughs> Which is going to be a real complete and utter pain in the bum and I can imagine what it's going to be like for importers. Mind you, importers this is quite a prime opportunity for people who want to start importing goods. If you've got the space to do it in, that that's the prime opportunity for you to do it. Start importing from other companies because they won't actually export. You've got to have VAT anyway for your business, right? 
if you're buying goods, they don't have to register for VAT because they've got the ex, you know, because they're not really exporting, you're importing. Yeah, it might be the only way to do it. It might be the only way to actually get around it. So, yeah. We don't even have enough room to walk around in. There was no way we're going to do it, so don't look at me. Don't look Don't look all very exciting at me. Magic cleaning mops, microfiber mop. Yeah, I don't want a microfiber mop. Because you can't compost them. The whole point with the Cuban mop... Please excuse me, because I'm talking to Tanny at this moment. The point with the Cuban mop is it's all wood and cloth, love. So we can chuck it in the compost afterwards and you can all break down whereas those swiffy type mops you can't do that with which kind of sucks see I, I I don't have a problem running a cloth around the floor every day doesn't bother me at all but for some reason getting the mop bucket out and doing all of that sort of stuff is such a palaver do you know what I mean and the last thing you want is to be flodging around with big buckets of everything or every day so it's like yeah no I get it I, I get why it would work better because it would certainly work better for me and then those cloths just go in the wash it's perfect I love it because we are I am trying to get us more eco-friendly I mean for those of you who don't know haven't noticed I have metal straws um, we've got them of all sorts of shapes and sizes I've even got ones for thick shakes, which are a lot wider than those because, like, when I had smoothies and stuff, um, I couldn't get them sucked up the straw. So I got some smoothie ones. Um, yeah. So, yeah. But there we go. So, we're going to have a crack at actually making our own Cuban mop when we can get the dowel that we need to make it as I don't want us to you know do something we shouldn't and risk going out I mean we can probably order it in to deliver eh? but it won't be for a few weeks it won't be for a couple of weeks so we'll have a crack at it I can get the this is the weird part right I can't get the mop itself but I can get the cloths for the mop which is really odd you know and it's going to be cheaper for us to get the dowel than to track down a shop or something there was a person on eBay who was willing to send them over here but it was going to cost something like $68 in postage and the mop itself was something like $9 <laughs> I was like I don't think so let's not do that <laughs> let's just make one because we can get the dowel for that <laughs> and have money to spare so yeah um, so probably next big pay we'll have a look at maybe doing that and seeing how we go from there but anywho um, yeah so see how we go I'm gonna have a gaming day today I am. I want to have a gaming day. I need a day where I really don't have to think very hard. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about maybe Ark. What? I don't have to think very hard on Ark. Yeah, but I know I'm going to die. I don't have to think about that. What I have to think about is bashy, bashy, smashy, smashy. Farmy, farmy, buildy, buildy. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of it doesn't take a lot of brains at all. It, well, it, it kind of does, but I do want to cat. Yeah, okay, it does take some brains, but I, I just, it's a different sort of brains. I've been so deeply busy studying the last few days. I need a day where I can just, my brain can just go. No let's do something else so that's what I'm gonna do so guys if you need that kind of data yourselves today you'd go and do that 
do the things that are going to make you happy and that you need to do for you so that you can do the things that you need to do because that's the important stuff right okay so I'm gonna go you guys look after yourselves and each other and if you can't be good be good at it see you later bye